one of the stores that we try to avoid at all costs are Kmart's. Yeah. What we found is that the Kmart's are typically run to the ground. They don't do a lot of maintenance on those properties while they own them. And then, you know, let alone when they're shutting them down, they don't do any right. maintenance. And I think that's just a, a factor of the kind of the financials of that company. Uh, but yeah, we, we love that Walmart effect. I mean, that's if, 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 if a location's good enough for a Walmart, it's good enough for us. Yeah. Cause they, they do serious uh, study uh, when they're deciding whether they're going to put a facility anywhere and they own the properties. They're, they're not um, just leasing them up. They, they own the stuff. So they, they are wanting their investment uh, to be a good investment over the long period. And you'll see all kinds of other businesses will pop up around a, a mm -hmm. Walmart because they've done all the demographic work for you. Yeah. You, you just locate near them. I, I go up and sell boiled peanuts by the local Walmart. I mean, it's... <laughs> So it's it's funny. We have a, a little kind of joke of a saying, but it's it's really not a joke because we use it to fast track some of our deals. If I go to a site visit and I can see a Walmart and smell a McDonald's, it gets jumped to the top of our queue in our underwriting. <laughs> yep. And it sounds like a joke, but think about it. I mean, Walmart right. and McDonald's are two of the best companies when it comes to location, 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 right? Sure. Both of those companies are not services businesses or fast food companies. What they really are are real estate companies really? and Absolutely. they have tons of money to do all the demographic studies and find where they want to place their sites. And they're going to put it in a place that gets a lot of traffic because that's the, the, the biggest, well, number one, the McDonald's, you're going to go through the drive through. Um, and then uh, people see the Walmarts all the time and say, Oh, I got to pick up such and such and, and pop in. So they're going to have, they're going to be located on streets that have a lot of traffic. Mm -hmm. And that's what right. you want in self-storage as well, because self-storage is not something that is on somebody's typical mind. Well, it's that branding thing where they. Well, it's just like Fernando said yeah, yeah. earlier, where you, you drive by it until you need it. And you're like, oh, yeah, that place. Yeah, that's right. We're always looking for high traffic counts. Uh, one of the things that is important, though, is I don't want people out there to think that just because you have a good site that you can neglect everything else. The right. fact that you have the brand presence because it's being seen on your daily commute every day is just one part of the equation. After doing a study of our, our 17 facilities over the past three years, what we found is that 60 to 67% of our customers first contacted us by not walking into the store, but seeing our facility and then Googling our facility on a smartphone. So not only do you need a website, but you need a website that is mobile optimized and that Google's suite of companies recognizes as being a trusted website. So we usually like to do the kind of the triumvirate, which is we'll have a uh, we'll claim the Google My Business, which allows us to not only show up on the Google search, but also show up on the um, the Maps. Google Maps locations. Mm -hmm. We'll also create a Facebook account for that business. And then we'll create a Yelp account. And with those three, they kind of create credibility amongst themselves and it pushes our ranking all the way to the top. Nice. Um, and uh, you're, you also put in automation where you can actually rent the units and do everything else on the website, right? Correct. Yeah. Most of our facilities are automated facilities or they have just uh very minimal physical presence. Typically, uh, we call them CPOs, uh, chief pretty officers. Their job <laughs> is to go and make sure our, our facilities look pretty. Um, so they, they're typically a, a maintenance or janitorial style uh, contractor that we give a base amount to just go check on our facilities one or two hours a week. Um, and that keeps our costs pretty low. It also allows us to uh, make sure we have eyes on the facility because most of the facilities I have purchased are nowhere near me, right? I live in Chicago, Illinois, but I have facilities in nine different states. Mm -hmm. um, and it just doesn't make sense. It's, it wouldn't be a business that I'd want to be a part of if I had to go visit those facilities on sure. a weekly or monthly basis. So yeah, that that's super important. Excellent. Mm -hmm.